So December 18th ended up being the day of superhero game leaks because not only was it written in stone that Suicide Squad killed the Justice League is the worst thing ever, but it was also apparently written in stone that Insomniac Games has been officially relegated to Sony's Marvel Game Factory. Apparently a terabyte of leaks from Inside Insomniac were released and they not only included a ton of in-development footage of the Wolverine game, but it also included a timeline of all Insomniac's working projects and when they're expected to launch. Spoiler alert, they're all Marvel games and one Ratchet and Clank game, so rest in peace for literally anything else you wanted Insomniac to do. Honestly, the gameplay for the Wolverine game looks pretty sweet. Like, yeah, sure, it's basically just a Wolverine reskin of God of War, but I mean, last time we got a game that was basically a Wolverine reskin of God of War, it ended up being one of the best superhero games ever made, so like, I'm not optimistic. I really don't get the hate that the early footage has been getting. It's, I mean, it, it looks like a Wolverine game. I don't know what you wanted. It's a violent third-person brawler action hack and slash type thing like I, I really I'm not sure what you were expecting but there was a lot of stuff in that leak that you could have started intelligently you know discussing for example there were leaks going around that Sony seemingly wants to increase the price of games beyond $70 you could talk about that there were also leaks suggesting that Sony's expansion into the PC might be getting a whole lot more uh, more aggressive in the near future you could talk about that you could also talk about the fact that Sony's best first-party studio is now being turned into a Marvel game dumping ground and with how buggy spider Man 2 was, that can't possibly be the best course of action. But instead of talking about any of those things, some of you in the PlayStation camp decided to take the Insomniac and Wolverine leaks as an opportunity to dunk on Xbox. Somehow. People ask me why I don't make more videos about Xbox fanboys or Nintendo fanboys, and the simple answer is that the PlayStation dudes are fucking unmatched when it comes to complete left field takes about absolutely everything. So come along with me as we go through some of the most delusional takes about the Insomniac leaks, but before we do, couple plugs. 4D Gaming, get yourself a nice mouse pad and use code Joe for a discount. Glitch Energy, get yourself G Fuel but better and use code Joe for a discount. And Curbside Anthem, my punk band, we're finally releasing new music, for real this time. New song comes out on Christmas Eve, and you'll hear it first on the Joe from Seattle music channel, but then it'll be on Spotify and Apple Music and everywhere else a few days later. Okay, so let's get into the cringe together. At Box Dunn says even hackers don't care to leak Xbox shit. Let this be a lesson to all of you in the future, that if you ever get robbed, you should take it as a W because the robber found your house to be worth robbing. If your car ever gets stolen, the first thing you should do is go brag to people who still have cars that your car got stolen and theirs didn't. Or better yet, better analogy, wait until someone else gets their car stolen and then go out and tell their friends how lame they are because they still have cars. Go out and brag on behalf of the people who stole the car. That will surely make people sympathize with you and not immediately make them think you're a complete ass clown. At West75823 says, I swear so many leaks of Wolverine proves that Xbox clowns are freaking losers. Y'all that mad and hurt from PlayStation always stomping your trash ass Xbox? Because the people who leaked Wolverine were Xbox clowns? Question mark. A PlayStation-owned studio gets hacked, and your first reaction to that news is, damn, the Xbox clowns are at it again. <laughs> also, a PlayStation-owned studio gets hacked, and your first reaction is, haha, we're beating Xbox. Fucking what? At Alejandroid 1979 says, By the way, the next game that gets leaked for Xbox, I will with absolutely no remorse leak it. Since I see Xbox having no problem with this Insomniac leaks, I didn't share anything for Starfield when that leaked. Hellblade 2 or any other won't have that luck. But I shall unleash my fury upon you like the crashing of a thousand waves! Be gone, vile man! Be gone from me! Again, with this idea that it's the Xbox dudes spreading the insomniacs and not literally everyone because there's a lot that leaked and a lot to talk about. This is like saying it's the fault of Star Wars haters that everyone knows Darth Vader is Luke's father. Like, no, it's just impossible to keep it a secret at this point. 
I've seen all the leaked Wolverine gameplay and all the Insomniac schedule leaks because Twitter was basically throwing the shit at me, and not one of the accounts posting that stuff that I saw was an Xbox dude or an Xbox lady, you don't always know, but to swear vengeance on the Xbox dudes with future Xbox leaks because they were somehow instrumental in the Insomniac leaks, it's just fucking stupid. Because no, they weren't. Were some Xbox diehards being assholes about the situation? Yeah, totally. But if literally not a single Xbox dude had participated in spreading these leaks around the internet, the leaks still would have been spread around the internet. So fucking eat a Snickers or something, because this literally has nothing to do with the console war. J-Dub says, with the Insomniac leaks out on the internet, I wonder if it convinced a single person to buy an Xbox instead of a PlayStation. Seeing as a whole slate of Marvel IP that gamers have been bragging for decades is coming to PlayStation only, I doubt it. Hashtag rip Xbox. Hashtag PlayStation 5. J-Dub, never change. Like... Genuinely, never change. Just just keep on screaming out to the entire world that you literally don't give a single shit about anybody or anything as long as PlayStation gets to beat Xbox in some way or you get to frame something against Xbox somehow. You don't care that a bunch of people's personal info got leaked. You don't care that a bunch of internal schedules just got utterly destroyed. All you care about is that this horrible situation ultimately means PlayStation gets more console exclusives. Console exclusives that, let's be real, you probably aren't going to play. Insomniac's entire universe just got shattered and you slapped hashtag rip Xbox on the news. Truly, never change. Hyped says Marvel requires PlayStation to sell at least 6 million units of each Marvel game Insomniac makes if Sony wants to keep the exclusivity deal, but Xbox fanboys think the same Marvel will just allow Blade to be put on Game Pass as an exclusive. Because every third-party exclusivity deal must be exactly the same in every scenario all the time. That's how this works. Don't you know? Also, do we really have to keep acting like Game Pass games don't sell? Because Starfield beat 6 million copies on Steam alone. I know you guys love to act like Starfield doesn't exist, or it, it didn't actually sell as well as it did, but that's just reality. Starfield sold fucking incredibly. But also, maybe Microsoft's goals are different than Sony's? You know, maybe Microsoft isn't as self-absorbed as Sony and actually realizes that releasing games on multiple platforms not only makes them more money off game sales, but also allows more people to get into their ecosystem, regardless of whether or not they want to buy the hardware. That's, and that's actually a really valuable trait for your ecosystem to have. But then again, we're literally console warring over studio leaks. So I don't know what I'm doing trying to raise actual points here. Uh, you just just keep doing this. Keep keep looking at literally every piece of news through the lens of PlayStation versus Xbox. Just just keep doing that. Uh, another one from Xbox Victim Support Group. Uh, he says, Xtards celebrated and shouted from their shed rooftop that they had Blade coming in 2028. Now they are downplaying X-Men Venom, Spider-Man 3, and Wolverine. Hashtag X-Boned, hashtag fill out, hashtag bend the knee. Weren't the PlayStation dudes crying like five minutes ago about how the Xbox dudes were spreading the Insomniac leaks? Because <laughs> like, you're just listing off the things that leaked here as a dunk. Like, you can't have it both ways. Either the leaks are super bad and we need to keep them under wraps, or the leaks are a bragging point. You literally cannot have both of these things at the same time. Tiger says, how the fuck a pre-alpha footage of Wolverine from Insomniac Games looks better than all Xbox games come out this gen lamal. Again, in one breath, the PlayStation guys are like, how dare you repost the Insomniac leaks? And then in the next breath, they're like, woo, look at the leaks, here they are, woo. But also just pro tip, if you're trying to degrade Xbox or like tra treat this as like a dunk on Xbox, Using the game that Xbox themselves have basically disowned instead of one of the Xbox games that's actually doing pretty well is a weak move. Because, like, you could have compared this footage to something other than Redfall, but you didn't. You say this game looks better than every Xbox game this gen. Do you mean graphically? Because no, it doesn't. Do you mean in terms of gameplay? That's debatable if you bring up something other than Redfall, but you're not going to do that because you don't want actual discourse. You just want to turn literally every situation into a fucking girly ass slap fight between PlayStation and Xbox. So what the fuck am I doing here? 
<laughs> Ultra 80s Retro Kid says, Xbots and PC peasants out here trying to trash Wolverine gameplay and release date why Xbox Blade is still doing this what the hell? What? What's the note say? <sighs> Alright, yeah. Alright, uh, meat. Starts out meat, and then there's like, other stuff. Meet me in the parking garage, Frank! Yeah? Yeah! You yeah. clearly have a learning disability, dude. Also, you realize that these games are coming to PC, right? Yeah. Xbox and PC peasant. The games are coming to PC, so I don't know what you're on about. God, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Closing thoughts. It's fucking terrible that this happened to Insomniac. I can't imagine being in their situation right now and having all of their surprises ruined having all of the things they were working on just get thrown out into the wind so there's they have no control over the hype train anymore. Because on one hand, I was also getting a little annoyed, or not, not really annoyed, but a little perturbed at the fact that Wolverine was announced, you know, over two years ago and we still haven't seen any gameplay. I think it's really lame when games get announced and then years and years go by and we get no news or no new footage or no new trailers on them. I think that's lame. But at the same time, this was so not the right way for this to happen. And I and I feel for Insomniac, I really do. I can't imagine putting your heart and soul into creating something and then having the world's first impression of that thing be a version of it that's not even close to finished. I absolutely empathize with that. That sounds fucking awful. And also just all the personal information that got leaked out, seriously, I, like this is a disaster. This was a fucking disaster for Insomniac for Sony, for everyone involved, and I, I feel so bad that this is what happened. But oh my lord, you people will take any opportunity to yell about Xbox. It's so bizarre. It's so strange. Ugh. The closing thoughts are fucking higgledy-piggledy. I don't, I don't know. I don't got, I have nothing. I have nothing. Toodles.